Caddis Maximus here. This time, just a quick video about this KD700 made in Lancaster, made in USA, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. This is an original KD. I think before NAP, they became exclusive supplier to Napa. Not really sure what the whole history of them was. This is a flathead V8 valve spring compression tool, but all I was noticing is actually it's pretty handy and can be used on a variety of modern vehicles too easily just because these two forks you could easily access just so many valves and so many different cylinder heads. And I kind of thought this design was just uh, a bit more elegant. Certainly it's something that could potentially be used while it's the cylinder head is still <laughs> on the engine versus like one of these giant monstrosities which is a valve spring compressor for when the cylinder head is off the engine. This actually wraps around the whole cylinder head. The valve sits there and then this presses down on the spring. You adjust the length and then it has like a quick release type action. Technically you're supposed to use these when the cylinder heads are always off the engine because then it's a real hassle to, I mean, you're do, using these to attempt to replace valve stem seals. Those are the little seals that see, that go around the end of the valve to prevent oil from leaking into the engine, causing bad smoking. Seems like a lot more modern cars don't have that issue anywhere near as much as older cars, <laughs> unless maybe it's a Chrysler product. The trick is you have to put rope, pull out the spark plug, put rope in the cylinder, and then run the piston up to prevent the valves from falling down. When you pop these out, then you can get the valve stem seal off and pop in a new one all while the cylinder head's on the engine. So this is something that would allow you to do it. It seems at auto parts stores, they're selling funky, they look like C-clamps. Excuse me, not C-clamps, pullers. This isn't one, this is for, uh, for faucets. But they look like a puller like this, and then they have this weird fork that sticks off the end. So these, the two arms grab the spring, and then you tighten it down. But they're kind of they're dangerous. They want to pop off, and they have interfere with your ability to access the valve. Or I thought this one was actually, you know, pretty elegant in how it works. Anyway, how one of these devices works, this is not an actual valve stem spring. But you'd take a tool like this, you'd get the fork somewhere into the valve spring, and then you would just adjust this downwards. And those two forks take and will compress the valve spring like so, so you have enough space to knock down the spring, upper spring seat. And then there are these two little half moon shapes that sit in, right into this pocket. And then the valve spring seat itself, when it goes up, captures them so they don't fall out. And so what this does is this just totally exposes the end of the stem so it's real easy to get access to them and it's just a more a device that has a lot more structure it's much less likely to want to slip and fall off and it's just really smooth operating i really like how this thing works it is pretty intelligent what i mean by that is when you're under tension doing compression the force is between the handle and this plate this little washer is just to keep the screw from falling out when you're actually loosening it back up. Also has a neat feature here where you have this screw which either pulls these together or if you loosen this screw, it's a little bit rusty, you can usually do it by hand, you can loosen that screw and that allows you to adjust the widths of this fork here, which is not super common. So you can adjust this just so it's absolutely right. So the bottom of the spring sits right in these pockets so it's nice and safe and you can tighten it up to narrow it up for smaller springs or widen it for larger springs, say, on a diesel engine. Anyway, as far as a valve spring compressor, I saw this and I thought, uh, this is actually a pretty good design. Even though I believe it was originally intended for flathead engines, it's still just as valid on any valves, diesel, gasoline, what have you, and just thought it was a real elegant design that's real safe to use. Particularly, you know, if it does want to slip off or anything, your hands, it's not like a C-clamp, but your hands are right over it, over the top, and it's much less likely to want to slip off, but your hands are more remote. So when you're using this tool, um, and there is a slippage, or even the very rare instance where you're really compressing the spring and it decides that it wants to break, that your hands aren't absolutely right next to it. And this could be handy in a few other situations. So anyway, that's the... Uh, KD Tools 
number 700 valve spring compressor and thought this is actually a pretty nice one as far as the world of valve spring compressors go. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out. <laughs>